I don't know about you, but growing up, my mother always told me, Gary, be a professional man, a doctor, a lawyer, a dentist. So when she heard I wanted to go into radio, that was kind of a foreign idea to her. And there was a little bit of disappointment. But after all these years, I've discovered that if you're a radio programmer, you're just like a doctor, except the patient is your radio station. Hi, I'm AC Programming Consultant Gary Berkowitz, and this is 21 for 21. 21 programming ideas for the new year 2021. You know, when you're not feeling well and you visit your doctor, there are basics that they will immediately look at. For example, they'll first listen to discover what might be wrong with you. And then they'll look in your eyes. They'll look down your throat, in your ears, and feel your neck. Then they'll most likely run some blood tests on you. These are the basics of medicine that help doctors lead to an accurate diagnosis. Well, the same works with your radio station. When your station is not feeling well, here are some top things to look at to diagnose what might be holding you back in the ratings. Number one, listen. I always like to hear the station's story. Every station has one, its history. I like to hear about its highs and lows, learn about the market. Uh, when you're having a problem, listening is always the first step to take. Number two, what is the personality and vibe of the radio station? How does it feel? The music, the talent, the presentation. Does the station paint a picture of the market? Every radio station has a personality, and if yours doesn't, that's an area to work on immediately. Number three, what message is the positioning and imaging sending out? Is the position clear and concise? Does it send an instant message to the listener what your station is all about, or is it trying to be cute and clever and missing the point altogether? Point number four is your music. Is it focused, and are you playing the hits? Is your list too tight or is it too large? How did it come together? Research or maybe just guessing at what you think is right? The fifth point, how's the station's digital message? Now this is new to my list of basics, but it just may be one of the most important. Are you clearly communicating how to listen on digital devices? Do your listeners know you're available on Alexa? And finally, would your station be my friend? A while ago, I coined the phrase content or companionship. If radio stations were friends, would I want to be friends with this radio station? Are you a good companion? Well, you may not have an MD after your name, but in many ways you do have an RD after it, radio doctor. Look at your station's problems the same way a doctor looks at a patient who's not feeling well, and you'll find your way to fix those problems very quickly. My thanks to my doctor and my friend, Dr. Jeffrey Kraft, who gave me a little tutorial on the medical part of this video. And one more thing, please take two aspirin and call me in the morning. Well, now that you've sat through this entire video, here comes the shameless plug. If your radio station is in need of a doctor's visit, or at least a consultant's visit, please give me a call or drop me a line, gary at garyburke.com. There's never an obligation, and of course, it's always confidential. Now, if you enjoy these videos, please be sure to look for them on all of my social media platforms, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Instagram, or subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the big red subscribe button, which is right underneath me on YouTube. My AC Programming newsletter, AC Programming Today, is complimentary, and you can sign up for it right now at GaryBurke.com. So that's just about it for this edition of 21 for 21. I'm AC Programming Consultant Gary Berkowitz, and as always, I do thank you for watching. Welcome to Berkowitz Broadcast Consulting. Oh yeah, one more thing. Mom, everything worked out great with radio.